Ron, what's going on here tonight? So today we're here. We just ended a show with the legendary singer, Middle Eastern singer, Aviu Medina. This guy is one of the biggest things in Israeli culture. Huge, huge, huge. And um, he gave an amazing show. I've actually had the privilege. I sing in a band called Esh, and I actually competed in Israel about a year and a half ago, and he was judging me. And uh, we got all of the best points from him, but there were other judges that thought differently, unfortunately, so we didn't win the competition. But um, this guy is incredible. Some of the biggest songs in Israeli culture, in the history of Israel, have actually been written by him. Songs that every Israeli knows. This is like, it's the soundtrack of every Israeli's life. And this is the guy that wrote them. He's the guy that put them out there. And we got a spectacular show from him today. How did they get him to come all the way to Los Angeles from Israel? How did he get here? Yeah, how did they get him to come here? Oh, well, if I'm not mistaken, he has family here. And he was here and, uh, and Israeli Tuesdays. Uh, gave him a call and they were able to uh, book him for this great night. Place was packed, energy was high, very fun. What's special about this holiday? I mean, you're Ashkenaz. Right, I'm, I'm Ashkenazi, but that said, um, the tonight is the last day of Passover. The Sephardic uh, Jews celebrated by a, an event called Mimuna, which is where it's like a celebration to break the whole Passover uh, fasting from bread and such and uh, they do it in a very they put on the you know the uh, original Moroccan kind of it's a Moroccan tradition put on the all the authentic authentic Middle Eastern uh, clothes usually and they bring out the rugs and very very great food with lots of flour and honey and butter and uh, why is flour important tonight why is flour important because uh, I guess because we're going back to eat it. We because haven't we been eating eat it for eight days. Right, eight days over Passover. It's only been matzah, and uh, finally, you can eat flour again. So they do it in style, hardcore, lots of calories, lots of dancing, lots of fun, and good music. And to what extent do the Ashkenazim uh, recognize or even celebrate Mimuna? Ashkenazis don't recognize or celebrate Mimuna almost ever. However, in uh, in Israel, however, it's become a it's become a staple of Israeli culture. Since there are so many couples that are mixing, you know, is uh, the Sephardic and Ashkenazi, it's, it's it's pretty much mixed in the Israeli culture. So it's become something that has really, has really become of a, a part of Israeli culture. Everybody goes to a mimuna. Even all the Ashkenazis go to somebody else's mimuna and uh, gain weight. How big is the uh, uh, Israeli population in LA? I do not know. I, I don't. Mean, in, in terms of uh, size of Israeli communities. If I'm not mistaken, the Israeli community in Los Angeles is, is the biggest in the United States of America. There's clearly a culture here. There's clearly driving in the streets. You see the Hebrew. You see the and it's and it's not necessarily Jewish. It's an Israeli culture. Um, I think predominantly based in the valley. I think every Israeli or every Jew in L.A. knows that uh, there uh, that there is a force of Israelis here in the city. How are the Israelis in LA, how are the Israelis different from American Jews? Well, what brings, of course, Israelis together is that uh, everybody was in the military. Uh, that is uh, the best and most strongest, most common denominator that all the Israelis have between us. You know, living in Israel, the conflict, the the love, the happiness, the wars, the all of these things that, as Jews, we in general know. However, um, in Israel, all those hardships that the Jewish people go through still live. The Jews in Israel still live through today. So, of course, when times are difficult, people band together, and um, and I think also the Israelis that come here have a very strong sense of making it. They want to come to the United States. They want to have a better life. Not that their life in Israel is bad. It's just that they want to come into this capitalist society and they want to make it. They want to make a future for themselves, for their families, and they fight very hard for it. Um, and uh, they do their best. It brings them together. And it's a very, uh, it's a Jewish chutzpah at its most extreme. Do many of these Israelis go back and forth? Do the, many of the Israelis go back and forth to live? Between here and there, I can't. I don't know. Okay, right. good. Thank you. Check 